By the end of this video, you will know how to draw an NFT like this and make money online as a complete beginner in 2022. So unless you've been living under a rock, you've noticed that people are making thousands, if not millions of dollars with these JPEGs or so-called NFTs. So as you can see, for example, one NFT was sold for $69 million. But in this video, I will not show you how if you sell those NFTs on marketplaces like OpenSea, but I want to show you how to draw those NFTs and just make thousands upon thousands of dollars without investing any money into these JPEGs and without having to buy any of those and without actually having to list them on OpenSea or any other marketplace. And there will be multiple platforms where you can actually make money by drawing those NFTs and one of them and the main platform that we will be using is going to be Fiverr, but I will show you multiple platforms as well so you can maximize your results because Fiverr is kind of like a saturated platform right now. There's a lot of people who are jumping with NFTs on Fiverr. So I want to show you some Fiverr alternatives that you can use the best ones so you can stand out and make more money by selling these NFTs that you can draw in literally less than five minutes using the strategy which I'm about to share with you in this video. And everything will be explained step by step. I will walk you through the entire process. So you see, if you head over to Fiverr and you search for NFT or drawing NFTs, you can see that people are selling these services for different prices. Like for example, this guy is selling his NFT art starting from $1,450 per 100 images. So he's gonna draw 100 literally same images just with like a different character traits and then he's gonna charge over $1,000 for those 100 NFTs and that goes all the way up to $6,900,000 for one base art and 10,000 NFTs. So what base actually means is like they for example have a base of uh, this skeleton right here and that is the base and every other NFT is just gonna have different traits like for example one is gonna have a cap the other one is gonna have like a crown the other one is gonna have mustaches the other one is gonna have glasses and they're all just gonna have different traits but they're pretty much gonna have the same base so it's the same image he's just adding different elements and he makes like 10,000 of those copies and sell them for six point nine thousand dollars and you can see that this person actually made over 159 sales so he got over almost 160 feedbacks and over 57 orders are waiting in queue to be delivered because he probably can't draw that much so he has 57 people waiting in line to purchase this uh, service that goes all the way up to six point nine thousand dollars so this person is making a lot of money by selling this service and he is not the only one like you can once again just go back to fiverr search for nft and you can see thousands of people making hundreds of thousands of dollars by selling those services like for example this person that we just looked at made well over one hundred thousand dollars with this service or for example let's check out this person right over here this person will uh, create a randomly generated nft so he's probably using some software he's not even drawing them himself and and kind of this service doesn't really look quite professional and it goes all the way to $3,000 and he made over 190 sales so you can just do the math so even if the even if people bought uh, the standard plan on average over 100 people is going to mean that it means that he basically made over $100,000 in sales with this Fiverr game, way more than $100,000. So all these different people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars by selling NFT art, literally by sitting at home and drawing this NFT. And trust me, this is extremely fun. I did this yesterday and it was so, so much fun. I just got lost in the flow. I was just drawing, you know, I was just listening to music and drawing some art on my computer, which I'm going to show you how to do and it was super fun and just imagine doing that for a living and making hundreds of thousands of dollars with selling the service and you know that this like hundred thousand dollars mean doesn't mean that they made it in like five years and there or ten years these guys literally started like less than six months ago and already got to a point where they were making hundreds of thousands of dollars like it's insane so that is a potential if you jump in early and this is actually a really early stage of nfts they're just gonna go up in the future like the demand for NFTs and for people wanting to start a project with an NFT art is just gonna go so so hard because you see all of these news outlets talking about how people make millions of dollars with NFTs by selling NFTs and OpenSea and whatnot and so that's gonna make a lot more people wanna launch their own project and since they are maybe lazy to draw 100 NFT arts they just come to Fiverr and they they hire someone to do it for them so instead of you investing money in NFTs and instead of you selling them an OpenSea and see you can just draw them and sell them on Fiverr and make a lot of money by doing that and honestly I myself never bought any NFTs I'm not really a 
against it. I, I just I just don't like it. And I honestly don't even understand it that much right now. But all I understand is that you can make a lot of money by drawing them and selling them on Fiverr instead of starting your own project and then you will have to build a theme and then you will have to build all of these crazy stuff around the project to hopefully sell it for more money. And that is really costful, so you will need to spend a lot of money on that, but instead, you can start this for absolutely free. Have fun drawing NFTs and make quite a lot of money. Now, the first thing you gotta do before you even start thinking about creating an NFT, you will need to go over to Fiverr.com and you wanna sign up as a freelancer. So click on join, and there you can just enter your email address or continue with Facebook, Google, or Apple, which is a lot easier and faster because it requires just one click of a button. Then you will just need to enter some basic details about yourself, so the entire sign up process for freelancers on Fiverr is around five minutes. So they're gonna ask you different questions. They're gonna ask you about your uh, school, about your like about your education. They're gonna ask you about your experience and stuff like that. So you're just gonna answer a couple of questions and then you will be able to log into your Fiverr account. And once you log in, just go to switch to selling right over here. Then you can just go over to gigs right over here and then just click on create a new gig and then just type in the gig title. In this case, you can maybe type in, I will draw 100 NFTs for your open C project or something like that. And then you can select a category, NFT art, select a 2D. So we are gonna be creating a 2D art over here. Just enter some searchable tags, maybe NFT, uh, draw NFT and so on. And just declare that this NFT is gonna be created by yourself. So I'm gonna show how to actually create it yourself so you won't get in any copyright issues. You can't just steal someone else's art and sell it on Fiverr. Obviously that's not legal and that's not what we will be doing. Anyways, you wanna save and continue. Now here comes the pricing. So now you can select and create different packages. So this is all up to you. If you want to sell your packages for more money, you can do it. If you want to sell it for less, it really depends on you. You can just compare for like how much other people are selling their art for. So what I saw as uh, like the person, the, the art that we will be creating, one person is selling it for over $1,000. Like 100 of those drawings is going to sell for 1400 and something dollars. So maybe I'm going to go with like, let's say for instance, I'm going to switch it. Instead of 1400 I can go with like $1,200. I will sell it for less in the beginning so I can stand out because this is a brand new account and this is like a brand new gig on my Fiverr account. Obviously, I don't have any reviews and my goal right now is to just get some initial reviews so I can actually get some results in the future because when people see that I got no reviews, no one bought from me, it's gonna be harder to get sales for more money. But in the beginning, if you can do it for less, if you can sell it for even less than this, like you can go with 900 instead of over a thousand, then you might potentially get a sale and then that person leaves a five-star feedback and and then you can actually increase the price because people are gonna see that, hey, people are actually buying from this person, you're gonna be trustable, and they can see the reviews. It's basically like a social proof, but without it, you should go with a little bit lower price in the beginning. Fill out all the details about the package. Like for example, in this case, we would have 100 artworks, revisions, you can maybe add zero or one or two. It's up to you, however, how many revisions you wanna add. The background scene as well goes into this. You can also add the source file. Maybe you can add that as an extra and you can also add the extra delivery for extra money. So like for example, if it's gonna take you seven days to create 100 NFTs, you can maybe select if they want it, if they want it delivered in like three days, you will do it for an extra $500. So you're gonna spit it up, but they're gonna pay another $500 so you can make even more money off of that. You'll go save and continue, you'll need to fill out those details and then they're gonna ask you for the description and frequently asked questions. So you can just describe what type of art you will be creating and I will show you which type of art we will be creating. Inside the requirements section, you will just ask them which type of NFTs they want, whether they want the broccoli type of NFTs, whether they want monkeys, what, what, whatever they want, just ask them what type of base they prefer. And then in the gallery, we will just add the NFTs, which we will create in a minute. And then you can just publish that and it's gonna be live on the Fiverr so people can purchase your, your service. Okay, that's how you create the gig on Fiverr so people can find you and buy your service and pay you thousands of dollars for those NFTs. But what do you do when someone actually orders from you? How do you actually draw those NFTs to make money online on Fiverr? Now, the first thing you will need to do is you will need to think about the base. What is going to be the base of your NFTs? Is it gonna be some 
food? Is it gonna be a bottle of ketchup? Is it gonna be a monkey? Is it gonna be a penguin? Whatever it is, you just wanna think of one particular base. Like for example, I really love broccoli and so what I did is I just went over to Google and I searched for broccoli NFT to check if there are some NFT projects related to uh, broccolis and I actually wasn't able to find any good ones. Like this is a really bad one. I don't even know if this is like a real NFT. This is really, really bad. Uh, this is a really bad one, this is a bad one, and those are like the top ones. So I was like, okay, then I'm gonna create some broccoli NFTs. And so what I did is I just went over to Photoshop, and by the way, if you don't wanna pay for Photoshop, we will be using Photoshop for this, Photoshop is like $10, but if you don't wanna invest in Photoshop, you can also use Photopea, and don't worry, you don't need any like professional skills because I'm literally gonna show you click by click how to create any type of NFTs, uh, like 2D cartoon NFTs uh, with Photoshop or Photopea, with any uh, with uh, any base and Photopea is actually insanely similar to Photoshop. So Photopea is Photoshop, but for free. Uh, it's like over the Photopea.com. It's online. You don't have to install anything. Literally, just open it up and you can use it for completely free for a lifetime. And there, you can just start your own project. To start a project in Photopea and to start any type of NFT project, you gotta click on File. You wanna click on New, and then the size of the project must be 1,000 by 1,000. So that's the base size of any NFT out there. So 1000 by 1000. And then you will just click create and that's gonna create this type of project for you. Here on the right hand side, you have all the layers and here on the left, left hand side, you have all the tools that you normally have in Photoshop as well. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I will be showing you how to view this in Photoshop. But if you don't wanna pay for Photoshop, once again, literally just use uh, Photopea. It's absolutely the same. Everything that we do in Photoshop can be done in Photopea as well. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm gonna start a new project once again. Again, so open it up, new 1000 by 1000, this is the new project. Okay, I'm gonna unlock the background here by double clicking on the layer. And now I wanna keep this organized, so I'm gonna create different folders. This is exactly what I did for this NFT right over here. This is the broccoli that I've drawn in literally less than five minutes, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So first things first, we have the background. The way you create a background for your NFT is first of all, you wanna create the folder for the background. So I'm just gonna type in BG for the background. And then I just wanna go here on the left-hand side. You wanna open up the gradient tool here on the left-hand side. Now you wanna select this one. So it's like the circle one. And then you wanna choose the color. So let's, for instance, go with a blue one. Blue one looks really nice. So I'm gonna go with a bluish color. And then uh, I'm also gonna select a little bit lighter blue for the right-hand side, maybe something like this. Maybe not this one. Let's actually switch this to something like this. Uh, let's see how this is going to look like. Maybe it should have been a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna do this to see it. No, this is actually really, really bad. So let's go and change that. So I'm gonna change the colors once again by clicking on the colors, double click on the color. Select a little bit darker one. And here we have it, here's the background. Now the next thing that you actually need, let's go and see what is the next thing. The next thing on our list is the actual base. So the broccoli in this case. So what I will need to do to create a base is first things first, we wanna create a new folder for this to keep everything clean. So the new folder is gonna be called base. And the way I create a base is I just go over to Google. So I will go to Google and type in broccoli PNG. And that's gonna give me all of these background free broccolis, which I can download with one click of a button. And you don't really care if they were copyright free or not because you're not gonna be uploading them anywhere. You just need this as an example or as something to follow. So here I have the broccoli, which I downloaded from Google for free. And what I can do from this is I can drag it all the way down to the scene over here. I can put it on here. You wanna make sure that it's, it's in the center. So something like this. And then what you can simply do is you can either turn this into one particular color. To do that, you will press Control U and you can put it in like uh, white or something like that. And after the words, we're gonna draw it, we're gonna color it in a different color. But I just wanna show you that you can turn this into an actual base for your own NFT. Or what you can simply do is you can draw your NFT based on that image. What I mean by that is you can, for example, just start a new one, a new layer here on the right hand side. Then you can select this tool called ellipse tool, which is gonna create the circles for you. You wanna add the fill, which is going to be a color that is similar to the original photo which you downloaded from Google. So in this case, it's a broccoli color and you wanna add a small stroke. So a small black stroke because that looks really nice and gives, gives this like a really cartoonish vibe. 
So I'm gonna use this one. So as you can see, I'm recreating this part. So I'm gonna put it here. It's gonna look something like this. Now, I don't want it to be just this around the shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to filter, then I'm gonna open up uh, the liquify filter. And once you do that, once you open it up, you wanna increase the brush size and then maybe squish it a little bit, something like this. Yep, and let's go through the next one. So this is our first part. Let's go through the next one. The way you do that is you create a new layer for the uh, next part of the broccoli, and then you just keep repeating the same process. So we have the stroke and we have the fill inside. So here we have the first part of our broccoli NFT. This is the top. And by the way, I'm also gonna remove this image. Don't get confused by it. It's gonna be removed. I'm just using it as an example. So I wanna look at it as an example. Now I wanna add this, whatever you call that. <laughs> I'm just gonna add it below. I'm gonna create a new layer and then I need some different colors and different shapes. So I'm gonna be using their rounded rectangle tool. So I'm gonna select that. And the color of this is going to be a very similar one to the original photo. So let's do this real quick. Now I'm gonna drag the layer to be below. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the liquify tool again, and I'm just going to play around with this. Let's see how this is going to look like. Yeah, this is actually really nice. Okay, now how do we make this shadow effect? It makes it look a lot better and it makes it look so cool. Well, the way you do that is by selecting one of these layers. So for example, I'm going to go with this one first. Go control J to double that layer to replicate it, to duplicate it. And then you want to attach that layer to the previous one. And now you're going to change the color of this layer. So I'm going to select a different one. So I'm gonna go with a little bit brighter color than this one. So just a little bit brighter, not too much, but maybe this, maybe this is too bright, we will see. Uh, so I'm gonna also remove the stroke for this one. So no stroke, we don't need that. And now what you can simply do is you can move it around something like this. As you can see, we're creating that shadow, shadow effect, something like this. And so we'll just repeat the same process for all of these different ones until you have this same effect like I had over here. As you can see, we have different shadows in each of them. So that's how you do them. That's how you create those shadows in Photoshop. Now what I did is I also added like some noise to these. So it's not like just straight, just circles. So what I did over here is I just created some lines. To create those lines, I created new layers as well. So I started a new layer and then I will either go with a straight line. So by to select a straight line, you're just gonna go here on the left-hand side, select the line tool on the left side, uh, select in this case, no fill, but a black stroke. Let me see how that looks. Uh, maybe this should be just a little bigger. So something like this. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Now I don't want just straight lines. So I wanna make them curved. And the way I do that is by opening up the liquify tool again and then I would just zoom in into the line, grab this tool, make it a bit smaller, and then just do this. Now it's a curved line. Now I would just press OK, Control J to duplicate it, and just put it all over the broccoli. Now, since I have so many layers on the right hand side, I'm just gonna merge them into one layer so I don't have to think about it. So I just selected all of the ones by pressing the shift on my keyboard, then I'm gonna right click on the layers and just click on merge layers. So now it looks a lot better on the right hand side, everything is pretty much organized. And now finally, once, you've, once you're done with the base and you added all the shadows, now you can close this folder, create a new one for eyes and like for the different elements, because like, this is the base, this isn't what you will be working on. And now you can just either change backgrounds for different images, for different NFTs, you can change eyes, you can change their ex expression, you can add different elements like the hat, uh, the hands and stuff like that. So let's open up a new folder here, create a new folder. This folder is going to be for eyes. So I'm gonna type in eyes. And then in this folder, we wanna add a new layer and let's start crafting our first eyes. Uh, for this, I'm gonna go with this eclipse one and then I'm just gonna use the white filler and the, the black stroke. Now I'm gonna add some, some eyes here and then I'm gonna show you how to change them. I'm gonna decrease the size uh, of the strokes, maybe something like this. Let's see, this might be way too big, uh, but let's go with this on. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna open up the liquify tool. And let's say, for example, I wanna ma make this boy a little bit sad. Let's say our broccoli is sad because we didn't eat it. So he's like, hey, you gotta eat me, please. And yeah, something like this, okay. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this layer by pressing Control J. Now I'm gonna put it underneath. And these are the eyes. So maybe 
something like this. All right, but we don't need just the whites. We also want to add something like this. So I'm going to add the filler. Then I'm going to go with something like this. And then I add, I would like to add this like crying effect. And to do that, I just create the white filler and I just add these a few dots, different sizes. So let me show you how to do that. And this is going to make our broccoli look pretty sad. Okay, this is the first eye control J. And now I just added the same effect to the second eye as well. So as you can see, now the eyes are shining, he's sad, but he needs the mouth as well. And by the way, you can also add the shadow underneath the eyes. And to do that, I'm just going to merge these two layers, our eyes, the base of our eyes, I'm going to merge the layers, and then I'm going to double click on that and just add the drop shadow. And the color of the drop shadow is and and the, the angle as well is going to be the same for the other ones. So I'm going to select this color, and I'm just going to decrease the opacity a little bit and decrease the distance something like this. When you zoom out, it actually looks pretty good. Now I'm going to create a new folder for the mouth. So just created a new layer. And I'm going to do the same thing as which I did for the mouth for the eyes as well. So I'm going to create one like this. But this looks kind of lame. So I'm going to first of all decrease the the stroke. And then instead of the white filler, let's maybe go with the red with with the dark red. So something like this, I guess. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Now I'm going to open up the liquify tool. So filter liquify and OK, zoom in a little bit. And let's make this boy even more sad. This is actually really nice. Now this boy also needs some teeth. But before that, I also want to add the same drop shadow. So I'm going to click on drop shadow, I'm going to add the color to be the same as the previous one, decrease the opacity, decrease the distance a little bit. And this is perfect. Now I want to add some feet. So I'm going to create a new layer. And for the new layer, I'm just going to add some uh, rounded rectangle shape with the white filler, the stroke is going to be really, really small, maybe three or two, I'm going to create the first teeth right now. And this is going to look like it's on the inside control J to add another one. And here we have it. This is not a perfect thief. But uh, you can see we have the eyes, we have all the shadows, we have the shiny object in the eyes. And overall, this broccoli looks really, really nice. This is a really nice NFT. One thing that we are missing is the shadow be below that this is going to make the effect look a lot better like it's floating. So I'm just going to create a new layer over here, I want to put it above the background, then on the left hand side, you want to select the brush, the soft one. So select the soft brush, then select the color to be the darkest one. And then just decrease it a little bit, maybe do something like this, I will increase the opacity and I'm going to press on here, something like this. But I'm also going to open up uh, the file. I'm also going to go to edit and go to free transform and open up the perspective. And now I'm going to change the perspective of this shadow to be something like this. Okay, let's look, let's take a look at this boy. This is not bad. I didn't do the shadow perfectly, but you get the point. This is our NFT for you. If you do it without explaining like I did explain it in this video, because I was filming at the same time. So it took me a lot more. But for you, it can literally take you way less than five minutes. And once you create a base, like because we don't have to create a base all the time. And once you have the base, you're just going to change the, the the eyes and the mouth and add different elements that's gonna be pretty fun. And it's gonna take way less than five minutes. Uh, and once again, the process is extremely fun, you're gonna enjoy it. And you can sell those NFTs for 1000s upon 1000s of dollars and Fiverr and other freelancing platforms like people per hour.com and upwork.com. These are great freelancing platforms where there are not too many people selling NFT designs, but there are a lot of people who would want to buy these services and they're willing to pay pretty decent amount of money for that and since there are literally like less than 200 people selling this service and people per hour right now you can jump on it as soon as possible and stand out because as you can see this person is selling the service and got over 1000 sales at a price of $700 so he made way over $700,000 by selling NFT designs on people per hour dot com or this person made over $200,000 this person made over $50,000 and so on so people are making a lot of money on here as well. Uh, in fact, this person made over $1 million. So she's starting at 1300 and got over 1300 sales, which if you do the math is way over a million dollars 
with her people per hour service and they started way less than a year ago because NFTs are not that old. So yeah, if you want to learn more about how to build an online business and make money online for absolutely free, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videos like this one on a regular basis where I explain to you exactly how you can make money online with the latest trends. Thanks for watching and I will see you somewhere else.